Hello again. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make your obstacles a little bit more interesting. As you can see right here, uh, when the obstacles do start spawning, there we go. Um, they're all quite the exact same size, the exact same speed. Not terribly interesting. Um, we're getting them spawning in various locations, which is interesting, but themselves are very, very uniform. Inside the obstacle script, uh, we have a start function which the comment even tells us is used for initialization. Let's so inside that. I'm going to put some code in here. You can just uh, watch as I type it here. That's going to determine a random size for the spheres and then apply it. We use transform.localScale to apply this. Um, in this case, I'm going to feed random size into a vector 3. Random size is the new variable that I'm making. And I'm going to use uh, random.range to decide what random size is actually going to be. Just popping back to my prefab, looking the, the scale is f about 4, so I know what to make it. Uh, let's go a little bit smaller, so between 3 and 10, let's say, what the size will be. A couple errors to fix. Uh, vector 3 wants a new in front of it. And we're clear. Just going to speed up the spawner a little bit because I don't, don't want to wait too long for the next spawn to come. There are floats, so I had a F at the end. Okay. And we wait. Okay, we're seeing some different sizes, not too bad. Definitely a bit more interesting. Yeah, not bad at all. Let's go a little bit further too. Um, if you notice in our obstacle, we already have a variable declared for speed. We could randomize that as well. So this one's real easy. Speed equals random.range, and we just add in the, the low end and the high end. So let's say it's between 4 and 8. Save it out. Let's try this. Okay, we got some clearly different speeds happening now. Not a big amount of difference, though. I might want to increase it a little bit more. Some of these uh, obstacles are getting strange trajectories to them. It's because they all have colliders and they're all rigid bodies. So when they bounce into each other, they actually push each other out of the way. Let's increase it. Let's say max speed is 20. Really fast. Let's see if that's uh, too fast to dodge or not. No, I think that's pretty good. That one was probably close to 20. Yeah, I like it. So try this out. Find some values for size, find some values for speed. Try to see what works best for your game without breaking it.